this question. So yesterday already we have learned about the maps. Map is, map is a representation of earth surface on flat area. Map is a representation of earth surface on flat area. The countries, the cities, the states are can be drawn on the flat area. So already we have discussed about the map. So map is a representation of the Earth's surface, representation of the earth surface on flat area. So globe is a model of the earth. Just we can point out only the countries, accurate, accurate shape and size. But map, so a small, even a small places also can be pointed out in the map. So map, the map in the map, the word is derived from the Latin word. The map name word is derived from the Latin word. It is known as the map. So what is the meaning of map? It is a napkin. Napkin. It is a napkin. So the firstly the maps are drawn by the Gerardus Marketa. He is the person, first person to draw a map. Gerardus Marketa. 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 So, a curved surface. So, on the globe, a curved surface also can be shown. But on the map, we cannot show the curved surface area. Curved surface area. Gerardus Marketa. Any collection of maps in the book is known as the atlas. The collection of many maps in a book is known as atlas. Atlas. So, types of maps. What are the types of maps? There are two types of maps. Political map, physical map. Political map, physical map. Physical map, physical map. physical map. So political map can be used to show you easily the states capitals, the states and the capital. So physical map is used to point out the climate, transport, railway, rivers, crops, major crops. So this can be used physical map and the physical map. Pol political map can be used for to know easily about the states and the capitals. Next, uh, reading the maps. How can we read a map? Reading map. So, reading map is important. Then only we can understand the map. Then only we can understand the map. So, how can we read a map? By knowing the directions. By knowing the directions. By knowing the directions. Okay. Map, scale of a map, scale of a map, and the symbols. Some of the symbols are given on the map. By that, we can understand the map. We can learn the map. We can read the map. Symbols and the colors and the colors. So, by looking at the Coloring of the map, we can point out the things. So these are these by this we can read the map. First one direction. How can you know the directions on a map? How can you know the directions on a on a map? Okay, see, I'm drawing slightly. Of the map it is a 
south. So I always at the right of the map is the east. Always at the right of the map is the east and always at the left of the map is the west. By this we can know the direction of the map, directions of the map. So intermediate direction, intermediate direction. What are the intermediate directions? So the between of these directions. The between of north and east is known as a northeast, northeast direction. The between of east and south is known as the southeast direction. South east direction. The between of north and west is known as the northwest direction. Northwest direction. The between of west and south is known as the southwest direction. Southwest direction. So by this we can know the directions easily on the map or at the top of the map it is north, at the bottom of the map it is south, at the right of the map it is east and at the west at the left of the map, it is west. Next one, scale. So, how can you know about the scale? What is the distance between the um, Jammu and Assam? Jammu and Assam. How can we know about the distance? So, it is the map is very small. I cannot show the a long distance. So, it is divided into centimeters. A long distance can be divided into centimeters to show on the map. So, the 200 kilometers, the 200 kilometers can be written in the form of 5 centimeters. 5 centimeters. So, the scale will be given on the map. The scale can be given on the map. So, this is the scale. By this, we can read a map by knowing the distance, by knowing the directions. Next one, symbols. So, by symbols also, we can learn the map. We can read the map. If I point out that, so this is a Gujarat. If I show a symbol of cloud, it is a cloudy. It is a cloudy. If I show the um, Kerala, a map, it is dropping out. So, this is one of the symbol. It is known as a rainy. It is known as a rainy. So, by showing the crops symbol, crops symbol, if I show the symbol of crop, it is a rice. Andhra Pradesh is a major food crop of rice. So, by knowing that, by drawing some symbols also, we can read a map. We can read a map. Next thing is the colors. So, here on the map, some, on some map, they give some colors. By you looking at the colors, we can read the map. So, the plains already I explained you. The mountains, they are given in the white color. The plains, they are given the lowland area. The lowland area, they are given in the light green color, light green and the plateaus they are given in the dark green and the desert it has given in the yellow color, yellow color. So by looking at the colors, so if it is yellow, easily we can know that it is a desert area. So if I look at the light green, easily I can know about the plains. So if I look at the dark green, it is known as a plateau. So by looking at the index box, in the map they use the index box. Index box like this. So by looking at the index box, we can read the map easily. So if it is yellow in color, that is a desert. They mention here the desert. If it is light green, they mention as a plain. And if it is dark green, they mention as a plateau. So some of the, by looking at the index box also, we can read the map. Next, colors completed. So lesson is completed, children.
text book read text book page number 187 number text book page number 187 189 189 So, okay, now children.